Welcome to Sheetwise. Today we are diving into one of the most essential yet often overlooked features in Excel, date and time formulas. Whether you are managing data, creating reports or just organizing your schedule, mastering these formulas can be a game changer. Section 1. Understanding dates and times in Excel. Before we jump into formulas, let's talk about how Excel handles dates and times. In Excel, Dates are stored as serial numbers, where January the 1st of 1900 is day 1. Times are stored as fractions of a day, so 12 p.m. is 0.5, representing half a day. Now let's see what I mean. You see here is the date, January the 1st of 1900, and this cell shows the same result, it's just another format. So if we copy this format to the date, you see it's a numerical number. And you see the 2nd of January, 2, 3rd, 3, and so on. So now we are at 45,000 days um, since the Excel calculation started. And here you see the fraction 12 p.m. is 0.5. And if we change that to 6, you see it's 0.75. This numerical system allows for powerful calculations and comparisons. Now let's see how we can use this to our advantage. Section 2, basic date and time formulas. Let's start with some basic formulas for both dates and times. We start with today. Today is used to automatically display the current date in an Excel cell. So it updates every time the spreadsheet is opened or recalculated, making it ideal for tracking daily updates. You will need it for your dashboard, for your habit tracker or anything else that needs constant new calculations with the actual recent date. The next formula is now. The now function returns both the current date and time. It's useful for creating timestamps or logging activities. Um, and it's like today, it updates whenever the worksheet is recalculated. So you can see it if I click enter. Yeah, two minutes are gone. Now the date function. The date function allows you to create a specific date by specifying the year, the month, and a day. This is useful when you need to construct a date from separate components or for perform calculations involving dates. So you can change here 15 and the date changes. Here you see this is for year, for month, for day. Time does exactly the same thing. It combines hour, minute and second and it's helpful for setting precise times or manipulating time values within your data. Now see our minutes and seconds. And these few formulas are the building blocks for more complex date and time manipulations. Section 3. Calculating with dates and time. Next, let's explore how to calculate with dates and times. The formula date diff calculates the difference between two dates in years, month or days. So it's useful for determining the number of days, months or years between dates such as for age or duration calculations. Here you see the formula. This is the start date, the end date and here's the unit. So between the two dates we have 500 months or 47 years. E-date. It's not a dating platform, it's for calculating a new date. So let's say you have the start date here in 1976 and you want to know uh, which date it is in five months or in 60 months. For example, you have a leasing rate that's, uh, that lasts for 60 months, you know it will end on this date. Now we come to three or better six formulas, hour, minute, second, year, month, day. 
all the six formulas do the same thing. They as extract the hour, the minute, second, year, month, and day. So you have a time and it just keeps the hour. And you have a date and it just keeps, for example, the month, August. The text formula is not really a date or time formula, but it is useful to extract uh, certain details from a date. So you have an Excel date and a time. And with text, you can extract the hours and the minutes and the seconds. Yeah. And the same thing is possible with month and year. And you can change the format as you like. The date value converts a text like this into a date. So it does nearly the same thing like text, only in the other direction. Section 4. Advanced Techniques. For those looking to level up, here are some advanced techniques. So we start with Network Days. This calculates the number of work days between two dates, excluding weekends and optionally holidays. So this is perfect for project management or calculating delivery times. Here I use the formula days. And days counts the days between two dates. Here is the end date and the start date. And we have 335 days between these two dates. And network days um, asks for the end date and the start date and optionally holidays. Yeah, you can delete them. It's not necessary, but you can implement a list of holidays for your country. And then this formula is able to calculate the networking days in your country. The EO month function returns the last day of the month or a specified number of months before after the start date, which is useful for month end reporting or setting deadlines. So here's the 18 August and in six months is the 28 February, the last day of the month. If I enter one month, you see it's September the 30th. This is next month, the last day. The workday function calculates a date that is a certain number of work days before or after a start date, skipping weekends and again optionally holidays. So this is our starting point and we say we work 100 working days and then we have the 19th November. Yeah, You see here is the start date and the days, and here you can enter the holidays. I'm lazy, so I use these holidays again. The weekday function returns a number representing the day of the week for a given date, which can customize based on different starting days of the week. Uh, that's important. So you see, um, we asking for a date, and then here's the return type. I use two because in my country, this is the normal day for starting the week. You can click in it and you see number one. This option starts the week with a Sunday. That would be uh, unusual for my country. So we choose two and then the week start starts with the Monday. Yeah, okay. And then the formula counts. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So this date, Wednesday, August, is the third day of the week. The week num function determines which week of the year a particular date falls into, which is helpful for organizing data or reporting weekly trends. Yeah. So um, this 
we change it to 1st January and this is the first week in the year. These functions can significantly streamline complex date and time calculations, saving you time and reducing errors. You uh, see a few links here in uh, the corner. Um, I made a few videos about habit tracker and budget and I used some of the formulas. So you see them in action. And that's it for today's tutorial. We hope these Excel date and time formulas have been a little bit helpful for you. And I hope I see you next time. Bye.